fiber mesh and lead. Well, I have one lead. Uh, how do I make fiber mesh again? Shit, how do I make that? Creep vine samples. Okay, so I make fiber mesh from the creep vine samples, and I can make lube or silicone rubber from the seed clusters. I have no space for anything anymore. I need to make a thing. How do I make a thing? Uh, I need to make a thing. No, uh, no, it's under deployables, isn't it? There we go. Maintains its position in the water. I, I need to make this. Nailed it! Okay, I, yeah, I need more space. Let's go back in the water. Leatherfish! Ah, shit, my inventory's still full. Well, let's... Drop it. Right there. I'll be fine. Okay. Uh, put the glass in there and some extra copper. You can go in there. You can go in there. Uh, you can all go in there, except for... Fuck it, put all of you in there. Uh, the silver and the- oh shit. It's a lot smaller than I thought. Uh, I'll keep the glass, I guess. The silver and gold is really important, so I'm gonna put that in there so it doesn't get left behind in the event I die. I need to catch more fish! Hashtag save the fish! Except eat all of the fish. Because that is more important right now than saving the fish. Between hashtag save the fish and hashtag save myself. Sorry, I'm gonna have to go with the latter. I don't think Dewey's on this planet anyway, so who cares? Salting has given the flesh a moose-like consistency? Oh, that's so gross. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I mean, I have to eat this shit to survive. That's gross. Okay. I will eat you and you and, uh, oh, you're rotten. Oh, I cooked you and didn't eat you. I'm the stupidest person ever. God, guys, I'm so happy to be playing this game. You guys have no idea. I'm gonna play this into the night for the next 400 million hours because I don't want to stop playing this game ever again. That year and a half was such a hard wait. But, um, here. Yeah. I jumped for some reason. I keep hitting triangle to open my inventory. I'm so dumb. One computer chip down. Now I just need a wiring kit. Hey! Oh, advanced wiring kit. That's fancy. Acquired. I need two silver ore. Do I not have two silver ore? I suppose I would have just used one. Ah, fuck. I need more silver. Oh, I suppose I can also, because there were there was two... Sorry for, like, you know, ruining the dramatic effect, but there were two uh, audio logs going at the same time. So, yeah. Uh, this is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't warn us this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the sea moth bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system and this grim-looking snake thing's trying to eat through the hall. Come get us already. I think I might know what that is. And it's not good. I can't go get- can I go get him? He's not blocked by radiation, is he? Stranded near cave system and under attack. Yeah, last time I played this, there was no voice acting for those. It was literally just text on the screen that you would read. There was there were no voices. So that's brand new. That's awesome. Um, okay, while I'm here, I'm gonna grab one of maybe two of these. Fuck, I'll grab three. Why the fuck not? Shit, I don't need more titanium. I have plenty of titanium. I shouldn't even bother picking that shit up anymore. <gasps> Everybody, welcome to the grassy plateau. This is the Grassy Plateau. I love the Grassy Plateau. And the reason why I love it, for building bases especially, is because of these natural pillars. Uh, I just, I literally use them as the foundation of my base. Local scans show a nearby cave entrance, depth 90 meters, leading to an unknown environmental biome. And that's the jelly caves, I believe. Hey, look at the reef back! <gasps> I'm gonna have to go investigate that in a second. This is a sea moth fragment. Sea moth is a lifeline. I'm gonna need this desperately. Short range I need scans two more. suggest this biome supports extensive biodiversity and connects to a number of small cave networks. Awesome. That's the other thing I love about this, is that it's close to the safe shallows, but it has its own set of cave systems, which is, you know, serves for finding more unique stuff. And again, you want to build your base off of a cliff or something eventually for when you build a moon pool. Because it just makes life easier for a moon pool. 
Let's go say hi to the reef bag. Hey, dude. Look at this guy. You can probably tell why they're called reef bag, right? Oh, God, you have that freaking tiger plant on your back. Oh, the sounds they make just reverberate through my soul. I love it. The fuck is this? Barnacle. Silver! Thanks, buddy. I was looking for that. I'm gonna scan you. What should we name our uh, reef back friend, guys? I would name him Bulbous, but he is not Bulbous. There is only there can only be one Bulbous. <gasps> I love the sounds these guys make. They're so cool. Those motherfuckers suck. The riding weed. Oh, I have a new message waiting for me. Coral shell plate fuel papyrus. I have no furled papyrus. Excuse me. I have no idea what any of this is, and I love it. If I could find another barnacle, look okay, at there's another one. I want to build my base on that big tall one. Violet bow. Again, just the sense of discovery just gets to you in this game, and I love it so much. I'm hoping to find another barnacle, but. Nettle. Stop spitting shit at me. Oh god, I, I am in desperate need of oxygen. Oh god, no. There we go. Ray break! Okay. Back down we go. Look at this guy. Look at him. I don't even think this is the biggest kind, is it? Actually, I think it is. I think this is as big as they get. But still, they're huge! Look. Look. Oh, I could look at you. And the other reason I love building my base in the grassy plateau is because of these guys. You just hear this all the time. It's so beautiful. But yeah, I love using these natural pillars as a foundation for my bases. Wait, what the fuck? You swam by fast. Mm, okay. What did I? What was I coming over here for again? <laughs> I just get so. I get so distracted so quickly. But this is the grassy plateau, and I love it so much. One of my favorite biomes in the game. Uh, my other favorite biomes being, well, the Lost River. Obviously, that place is Passing fucking cool. One hundred meters, oxygen efficiency oh! decreased. The fuck just bit me? Yeah, that's right. If I if I go past like crush depth, um, my oh god, sand shark my oxygen becomes less efficient, meaning it just goes down faster. So past 100 meters, my oxygen ain't great. What the fuck is that? What is that? It's so oh god, probably should go back up. Oh, look at all these natural bridges. This is new. All these bridges in the plateau, it did not used to look like this. Oh god, it's even more beautiful. Yeah, I think... I don't know if I want to build it around these things. These things, do these things not explode? I think they might. I remember these things not being great. But I could be wrong. Floater. Yeah, they don't look like things that I want on my body. Reginald! Reginald! You would think I'm joking, but that's his actual name. <laughs> look at him! I'm gonna drown down here. <laughs> In order to reduce radiation levels, I have to go to the Aurora, uh, which I obviously can't do right now because I don't have a rad suit. So, let's see. Rad suit. Uh, fiber mesh. I found more. Okay, I can make that. I can make that. If I go back to the life pod right now, I can make that. Um, and then you. What do I need for the wiring kit again? I think I needed more silver, which I got off the reef back. So, I think, you know what? I can make both right now. Hey guys, look at there's a third one off in the distance. Oh, I've missed this game so much! My diet, however, does not consist of hoverfish. I refuse these guys. I refuse to eat these guys. Because they are so motherfucking cute. My first game of Subnautica, my first save, I you can make an aqua oh god. You can make an aquarium uh, and just put whatever type of fish you want in it. I literally put all hoverfish. <laughs> they were so cute. Oh, and also we have a new message. Let's, let's listen. Receiving pre-recorded distress call. May it back. This is LifePod 3, uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide. So if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. 
Seriously. Three out. I feel like that should be something you need to address. Uploaded to PDA. Okay, so that's where they are. And I was gonna go and look at the other one, and then I completely got distracted by the grassy plateau. <laughs> where the fuck did all my acid shrooms go? It's okay, there's plenty around here. No worries. And look at that. Look at how cute! He's so cute! Look at his little face! Okay, now we can make the Habitat Builder. Which is incredibly crucial for building a base. You cannot build a base without this thing. ...is designed to construct habitats capable of withstanding extreme environmental conditions. I can make fiber mesh right now, can I not? It takes two to make one fiber mesh. Uh, what am I doing? I need to make it first. Idiot! Okay. Gotcha. Now I can make the rat suit. Good. Got it. Can I equip that, or does it do it for me? Oh, it did. Okay, so now I am now protected from radiation. Uh, I can go towards the Aurora now. I don't have to worry about being limited by radiation levels. I am totally good. I'm not good on food and water, however. That, and then I will also eat this. And I will cook, oops, I will cook Reginald. Sorry, but I must. Pungent and smoky, it's extremely filling. That's why I remember Reginald. He was my favorite uh, fish to eat because he replenishes so much! High capacity mobile power source. Mobile power source, oh, I got another message. Fuck it, I'll make another one. Okay, let's see what they have to say. Playing pre recorded distress call. This is Life Pod 6. I have a passenger another on one? board. Coordinates attached. We've landed a kilometer from the crash site, but there's radiation in between us and the rendezvous. Request immediate assistance. Six out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Oh, that's cool. It doesn't tell me exactly where this one is. I have to find it on my own. That's new. Oh. I need that. I'll take it, and I will drink it. Okay. Those are spade fish. I will take you, though. Spade fish. Discovered. Uh, Reginald! Oh, shit, it's a bite fish! Oh, God. Reginald. Reginald, Reginald, cooperate with me. Thank you. Oh, I am way far down. Okay, hold on. I'm just gonna reset my oxygen. Music. The music and the sound design in this game? Oh god. Every award ever needs to go to this game for its audio and sound design. It's so good. And I know the controversy behind the sound designer. I'm aware of it. Uh, if you are not, look it up. <laughs> Integrating new PDA data. Crew log. There's nobody here. It said they were under attack. And now there's nobody here. Data downloads. Aurora survivors. How's his log? It's the day of the they crash. Have voices now. It's so cool. I don't know what the heck is happening. I'm scared, and I'm not going outside. Probably for the best. There are shadows in the water under the hatch, but I can't tell if they're rocks or aliens. And there's weird-looking caves nearby. The Aurora was carrying everything needed to build the phase gate. Mobile vehicle bays, bioreactors, propulsion cannons. It had a cinema. There, there was a zero-G gym. My cafe. I don't this understand how we're here now. Don't know why no one's coming for me. Because there's nobody, Ozzy. And now where did you go? Chances are you're down in those caves now, because that weird snake-like thing you mentioned probably dragged you down to its home. Yeah. It's called a crab snake, by the way. We'll see them. <laughs> everything I talk about. If you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry. <laughs> we'll see them. We will see everything. Yeah, he was the cook. It's so cool how they have, like, actual audio logs now. I love it. Hey there. Next coordinate is over there. Let's go! And then maybe we'll head over towards the Aurora and get the radiation problem underway. Or we can start building a base, because I have plenty of titanium and glass, so maybe I should start doing that to free up space. Oh, yeah. 
Big open water. We know what likes to lurk in, uh, oops. Battery. There we go. We know what likes to lurk in big open water, don't we? The more space things have to swim around in. Oh god, I just got really nervous. Okay. Ugh, we're in, we're in the Gulf Wars. We're fine. But, uh, yeah, the more open water, the more space bigger things have to swim around in. Which, isn't that like the number one rule in diving is to, well, not panic. And the number two rule in diving is to not go out in open water, because that's where predators like to be. Yeah. <sighs> and boy, are there predators on this mother hubbard planet. Boy, aren't there. You'll see. You will see. That. Hey! I can make a mobile vehicle bay now! Oh, that's more mobile. I don't need that. That'll just give me titanium if I scan that. And I got plenty of titanium! Oh god, I'm about to drown. So this is the one with the sea glide that was damaged. And that's it. Hello? And they're all gone. Compass! I need that. Blueprint acquired. That'll make venturing far away from my base a lot easier. Integrating new PDA data. Okay, Lifebud 3. Let's go ahead and read it. You really think it'll carry two of us? Your regular sea glide tows a mass of 80 kilograms at over 30 kilometers an hour. The power seller rigged to this one should double that. You think there's something out there that's faster? Yep. I'm sure. And that's assuming it doesn't overload three meters from the life pod. You're calm about this. I'm seeing the engineering problem. If I stop seeing the maths, I'll be terrified. Right. Once things stop making sense, then you're really fucked. Which way is my life pod? Oh god, I'm far away. Okay. Well, and the other one I'm assuming is close to the Aurora because they said they were right on the edge of radiation levels. So we'll go do that in a second. I want to get started on a base first so I can start building more storage space. Uh, so I want to do that first. So we'll get started on building our base right now. I'm an hour and a half in and I'm already going to be building a base. So, but yeah. We're going to go back and listen to this message first though. Let's have a listen. This is Avery Quinn of Trading Ship Sunbeam. Aurora, do you read? Over. I, I read. I read. Over. Nothing but vacuum. All terrorist ships. They run low on engine grease, they send an SOS, you offer to help, they don't pick up. <laughs> Aurora, I'm out I on the far this. side of the system. It's gonna take more than a week to reach your position. Do you still need our assistance? Over. Very much so, over! I'll try them again tomorrow. Damn charter's gonna have us blowing our credits, running errands for Altera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the long range right. stands pick up in the meantime. <laughs> they re it was a little different the last time, I remember. But yeah, that's uh, Avery Quinn of the Sunbeam. I remember you, bruh. So it looks like we might have hit a stroke of luck. We still gotta survive a goddamn week out here. <laughs> but it looks like rescue's coming. Okay, so now I have a habitat builder. I'm going to grab all of the quartz and titanium that I have. And I'm gonna start building the motherfucking base. Because boy, don't we need one. Desperately! Nailed it. Okay. Now let's uh, take a look. See? There we go. Now, how do I access the menu for this thing? It's, uh. There we go. Okay, R2. So, we're gonna start with a. Ah, I don't have a multi purpose room. Blueprint! Ugh! Well. I suppose I can start with this back down let's see which of these is going to serve as our foundation I like this one because it's close to both the shallows and the kelp forest without being too far uh yeah that's the kelp forest right there let's see there's also a wreck right there the entrance to the caves is right there there's a sand shark right there which is not ideal but this is perfect I want my base right here is that another sea moth fragment oh my god I will grab this rut new. Gotcha. Okay, I only need one more, and then I can start building a sea mod. Damn it! I thought that was it. <laughs> That's titanium. Shit. Oh, I 
I like this one, though. You know what? Fuck it. We're gonna build our base on this arch right here. Because there's also kelp forest here and safe shallows elsewhere. Damn it. I, I see sea moth fragments everywhere. We're gonna build our base right here. We're gonna start with uh, this. Right here. Let's face it. Which way should we have it facing? Uh, let's have it facing towards the shallows. Even though the shallows is kind of far away, but fuck it. We're gonna put it right here. 30 seconds. Hey! Okay, and I have enough glass to build a hatch. I'll go ahead and just put that in right now. Nailed it. Okay. Oh, fucking God! You scared the shit out of me, bro. Oh, my God. <laughs> That scared me really bad. I wasn't expecting him to be up there. I looked up expecting to see Sky, and it said I saw vestibules. Is that the word? No. Um, fuck. Not arteries. Uh, 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 words. I can't think of anything right now. I'm too excited. Oh, that's got an animation too now? Oh, it's so cool, dude. That used to be just like, you would hit A on the hatch, and then bam, you were in the hatch. There, You were in the base. There was no animation to go along with it. Oh, it's so fucking cool. I love this game. Okay, now I need solar panels. Fuck, I need more copper. That's easy enough to find, though. Um, there's plenty of outcrops around here. Like that one. That's gold. I need copper. Damn it. Hey, ask and you shall receive. Do I have two now? I have one. Shit, I need one. 30 seconds. Remember that you're Diamond! on the property of the All Terra Corporation. Fuck that! You will be liable to reimburse the full market price if your current bill stands at 3 million credits. They can shove that 3 million credits up their own assholes, okay? I don't care. I don't want to die. I think that would be more efficient right now. I know I'm gonna build the wall locker on this wall over here. And because I have OCD, it needs to be perfect. I don't actually have OCD, but. <laughs> okay. Just dropping off. 30 seconds. Oh, I should probably head up to the surface now, right? Because I don't have oxygen in here. Oh, God! To the surface! Okay, now I'm gonna head back, grab some more stuff, listen to my message. I've been going for an hour and 40 already. Oh my god, I don't want to stop playing. I don't ever want to stop playing this game ever again, though I am getting kind of hungry. And I also completely forgot I have a bottle of beer here, and I forgot to open it, so if you don't mind. <laughs> it's Shock Top Belgian White beer. In case you're wondering. So it's not hard lemonade for once. Ah! I never understood why they make these twist off and also make them freaking like shark teeth on the side. Of course, unless it's not a twist off, in which case, <laughs> man hands from Seinfeld. Leather fish! Gotcha. Okay. No message! Aurora, this is Sunbeam again. We just picked up a massive debris field at your location. Yeah, you believe that? I'm actually in trouble now? How many of you? Like, I didn't know. We're now en route to your location. We're gonna bring you home. Sunbeam out. Yay. What else can I say? The only time I parked a rig this big on a rock that small was in VR. And I blew it. Oh, it's a bad option, all right, but so are sure. all the others. Very reassuring. Speaking of VR, uh, I originally planned to do a playthrough of this game in VR, but Subnautica was released on VR literally every other platform of VR except PSVR, so fuck me. But yeah, so I can't do it in VR, unfortunately. Sorry about that.